Alright, so today we are going to talk about my favorite anime, and that is Ghost Hunt. Uh, ghost Hunt is obviously about ghost hunting, which is... Ow. Sort of like... Something I think would be a really cool yet terrifying job. So here we go. Ghost Hunt follows high school student Mai Taniyama, who basically comes to be employed at a ghost hunting company after her first experience with the company. The company is known as Shibuya Psychic Research and it is run by a man named Kazuya Shibuya who happens to get nicknamed Naru by Mai because he is a very big narcissist. There are 25 episodes, I believe, and every ghost hunting story on average lasts between three and four episodes long. There is one as short as one. I don't think there is one as long as five, but I don't think it goes over five if there is. The thing I like about this is I find that the each file gets progressively scarier. When this anime talks about hunting ghosts, they're not talking about the American or westernized version of ghosts, which are just spirits left behind who dwell and may or may not be conscious of what's going on around them. We're talking about the Japanese version of ghosts, which are a lot more complicated. I watched this anime this third time with my sister, and I still got scared even though I watched it three times. My sister was all like, I'm unimpressed. I would go so far as to say that these anime characters have chemistry with each other because the way certain actors, when they get on screen together, like, they just work really well together. I would say the same thing about this cast of characters. Uh, so we have the main protagonist, Mai, who is like your average everyday high school student. Then we have Kazuya Shibuya, who is 17, but he doesn't go to school and he is very mysterious and he always wears black. Then there's his assistant, Lin, who is older than him and a lot more mysterious. Then you have Ayako, who is a shrine maiden. You have Monk, who is a Buddhist monk. I can't remember his name because everyone calls him Monk. Um, then you have John Brown, who is a Catholic priest. And you have Masako Hara, who is a famous TV medium. And I thought this cast was perfect at the beginning, but about halfway through, they introduced another character. And... I didn't realize that it wasn't the cast wasn't perfect until this character was added. And Yasuharu is the person added in the middle and he is also your typical high school student. So the anime didn't finish the manga series, it stopped one file short. So a lot of mysteries about uh, Naru are answered in the manga but not in the anime. But honestly I find that fine because it just leaves sort of a mystery to the characters. Um, it's not like you're really left hanging with any unanswered questions that were asked during the anime. Watch it. Watch it. Alright, so I'm going to go. My battery, I've had my tripod now and now my battery's telling me it's on low battery. So, until next time. TTYL. Mostly it's the unanswered questions that you would always have when mysterious characters. There is a dragonfly outside my window. Let's see.